Walk ons, what's going on? You know me. I'm Sam Stidwell, and this is the Walk On Coach. What is going on in your walk on journey right now? Let me know in the comments. As I say on all my videos, let me know in the comments because I like to keep up with every single one of you and, and know what's going on in your walk on journey, and that's adversity because you're going to face adversity. It's just a matter of when and what. So if you're facing some adversity, let me know in the comments and you know we can talk about that or you can just share the information so we can help other walk-ons and if you're having success let me know like little things it could be little things like you just found out when walk-on tryouts are or if you got a walk-on tryout or if you made a team keep me updated man I love to hear it and that's what this community is for so today I want to give you all the do's and don'ts for walk-on athletes the commandments for walk on athletes if you will before we get into that I have a couple of announcements for you all the first one is the how to get a walk on trial playbook is still available and it is nine dollars at the time of this video so for nine dollars you can go get a playbook that will teach you the steps to getting a walk on trial so you won't have to struggle and be frustrated and go through so many freaking loopholes like I did Announcement number two is, as always, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. Throw some likes on some videos. I've been doing more YouTube shorts lately. I just really started doing some YouTube shorts. So if you haven't watched the YouTube shorts, go check those out and let me know what you think about them in the comments as well. Number one, walk on athletes don't. Don't. Don't walk on for popularity because you don't have the right motivation to be a walk on athlete. It's not going to last long because you just want popularity will not keep you on the team. You're going to go through some things that you're going to quit easily. Number two is you're paying an extremely high price for popularity. Literally blood, sweat and tears when there are much easier paths to popularity and fame. Number three is you'll get your popularity but it won't be the kind you want. You'll be really popular when you're just on the team and didn't make the travel squad. So every Saturday you're in the cafeteria while the team is at an away game. So everybody that knows you're on the football team is coming by the table and they're asking you, hey, what are you, what are you doing? Aren't you on the football team? How come you're not with them? And you'll be really popular then when you have to explain to them why you're not with them every away game. Now here's a second walk on athletes don't 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 get turned away by one rejection in attempting to get a walk on trial you're going to get rejections in attempting to get play time and recognition on the field you're going to get rejections and in life you're going to get rejections so let's just get that out of your system now you may have to go through two three four five rejections so just just get your mind ready for that. Walk on athletes, don't, don't, don't expect instant gratification. Man, I experienced this as a walk on athlete and even in business and life, man. Go in expecting years of putting in work for you to finally get gratification, man. A lot of people won't tell you this ever about anything. They like to present the good stuff, the great possibilities, but they don't tell you that it takes years of just digging in and working before things actually pop off and you become a success so that's my advice man do not expect instant gratification because if you're going with the right mindset that it's going to take years of consistency man you can't be beat walk on athletes don't 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 be regular if you watched the interview i had with taylon litsey at the u of i he mentioned how the coach even disclosed to him that as a walk-on athlete, you are held to a different standard. You have the scholarship senior, junior, sophomore, and freshman. Then you have the walk-on. That's what the coach told him. So if you're the underdog like that, if you're at the bottom of the list, guess what you have to do? You have to make yourself stand out. You cannot just do what everybody else is doing. You can't work out you know go to the you know lift weights with everybody else and just do what they're doing you can't just go to the field do what they're doing and think you're going to succeed that way and reach your goals you always have to do extra 
Just get in the habit of doing extra every single day, getting better every single day. So let's just say a normal team workout gets the whole team 20% better that day. But because you're a walk-on athlete and you understand that you have to do extra, you put in more work. So you get 10% more better. So you're getting 30% better that day. That 10% adds up over time. And remember, we're playing the long game. We don't get instant gratification, so we have time to separate ourselves. And that becomes noticeable by the coaches. That becomes noticeable by you. That builds your confidence, builds your your performance, everything. And that's how you eventually get to where you're trying to get. So if you know me, you know that I'm very honest. I even expose embarrassing experiences that I had as a walk-on. So I'm honest to you about what you need to do. And then I'm also honest with everybody else. So for coaches, I love coaches. I love a lot of coaches, but coaches are not perfect either. So walk on athletes. Don't, don't, don't take everything that coaches say to heart. Don't read too much into it because, and that's good or bad because, for example, coaches like to say things when you can call them sweet nothings that get you hyped up just so you can keep giving your all even though maybe they don't have any intention of giving you any type of reward for your hard work. Let's get these dudes back on the high horse. I don't know. Get their morale up. Whisper sweet nothings in their ear. Jack them off. I don't give a And on the other side of things, you know, they say bad things like, you'll never play here. Oh, you suck. All that good stuff. Don't read too much into it. Keep it pushing. And the last thing is, walk on athletes do. Do enjoy your journey. Man, I was so focused on playing well in college, then going on to play at the professional level, that when that goal and that dream was constantly being rejected, it sent me into a depression. But if you figure out a way to enjoy every moment, just enjoy the whole journey, good and bad, the experience can be totally different for you. And that's what the goal is for all the information I provide. That's what the goal is of the walk-on coaches, to make your walk-on experience totally different, totally better than, you know, what other walk-ons have experienced like myself. So, man, I appreciate y'all watching. Don't forget you can find me on uh, Instagram at to be great. That's T-O-B-E underscore great. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, like, do a comment. And if you feel that you need help getting the walk on trial, go get the playbook. I appreciate y'all watching and I'll see y'all again later.